What's up guys, Mandobug here, and I have some Hobie yarn to get into, so let's open this up. Woo! Let's start with this one. Ah, oh, this is gorgeous. So this is Hobie Universe, which is 98% acrylic, 2% polyester, and I got color number 14. This yarn is a number one super fine fingering weight yarn, and you get 100 grams, 462 meters, recommending three to three and a half millimeter needles or hook. I do have plans for this color. This is beautiful and shiny. Look at that sparkle in here. So in my last Hobie unboxing, I showed off the Universe XL. So this is just the Universe, the fingering weight version. Uh, it feels just like the XL. It's next to, next to skin soft with a touch of feel to that sparkle that's absolutely blinding. And it looks like this colorway has the gold sparkle where uh, one of the other colorways I got on XL had the silver. So I do like that. Um, this is destined to become a hat with something else I ordered. So let's, let's keep digging. Next up, it's already giving me the fuzzies. <laughs> this is Mayflower New Sky Light. Now this yarn is 35% alpaca, 35% wool, and 30% nylon. It looks like it is a single ply. Let me show you an up close of that because I think it's just a single ply, which I do enjoy a single ply, but I have to tell you, I'm not super impressed with the hand on this yarn. It does have a, it's not as soft as I expected for alpaca. It is like, I can definitely wear this next to my skin, but typically once you start adding alpaca to wool, it gets uh, even softer and I'm not really getting that in the ball here. Also, this looks like one that is going to definitely, definitely pill very easily because it already has a halo to it and like I can literally pull the fluff off. Uh, there, <laughs> Just by touching it, it comes off and flies up in the air. So um, I am gonna be a little concerned about whatever I make with this pilling. Uh, but yeah, so for 50 grams, you get 328 yards or 300 meters, and it's recommending a four millimeter uh, knitting or crochet hook, which I think would put this yarn at about a DK weight. Uh, it doesn't say on here the weight. Uh, I think I had originally planned to put these two together. I might still do that just to test out this yarn, and I think it's soft enough to wear as a hat. It's just not as soft as I expected. Um, yeah, I think that's what's gonna happen with these two. I also grabbed some of this. This is Hobie's Evergreen 100% organic wool, which means it's a non-superwash wool. I am a fan of non-superwash wools. So this is a number one super fine fingering weight yarn, which it is a nice and fluffy fingering weight, by the way. It is, looks like it's only a two ply yarn. So even though it looks pretty thick, it will work up to a tight gauge. It is 100% wool, 50 grams or 251 yards, 230 meters. Recommended a, th a two and a half to three millimeter needle or crochet hook. So this yarn, the feel of it, honestly reminds me of Cascade 220 or like a Knit Picks palette. So I would say it's right on par with how those yarns feel. Um, let's give it a sniff. Oh yeah, no odor. Sometimes when you get organic wools, they'll still have a little bit of a sheepy smell to them, which I enjoy, but if you're adverse to that, this yarn works great because there is no sheep smell whatsoever. It looks like it has a nice, tight, high twist on the yarn, which is gonna give it great stitch definition. I am excited about that. And I got three balls to put into a hat at some point. I think that's what this was for. I'll have to go back and see if I wrote that down anywhere. I feel like you can never have enough 
black and stash. I really love to pair black with bright colors. So anytime I get a chance to get some fingering weight black yarn, I grab it. And this color or this yarn is a new release from Hobie. And so I wanted to get my hands on it, give it a try and see, see if I liked it. Ooh, I like this. So this is Hobie Colorina. It's 80% acr acrylic, 20% wool, and it is, it's soft, and I'm confused because some of it feels softer than other parts of it, and I wonder if that's the blend. Uh, that's interesting. Maybe it's just the colors, or different colors are softer because they come in different batches. This is color 15. And it is a number three DK weight yarn. You've got 50 grams, 218 yards or 200 meters, and it's recommending a four millimeter hook or needle. This is gonna make the most gorgeous gradients. It is a single ply yarn, so it's got a little bit of a felted halo to it. Um, it's soft. Out of everything I've ordered so far, this is the softest yarn in the bag, for sure. Um, despite being a single ply, it looks like it's not going to pill. Uh, it will pill, but not as easily as that alpaca yarn I showed earlier. And it feels nice and durable. Is this a single ply? It sure is. It's got a nice high twist on it, though, which makes it hard to tell. So, yeah, this is Colorina. And I actually got two different colorways. I got two of color 15, but then I also grabbed two of color nine look at that color oh that's gorgeous I feel like these two would go really well together in something I love a good slow gradient yarn so oh these are really soft I really like these I think this is my favorite yarn out of the whole order today uh, so with this being a DK weight yarn which by the way I mean that's a thick looking DK I'm sure because it's so fluffy, it's gonna, the gauge is gonna work up to a DK weight gauge instead of a worsted weight, but it is, it might be close to a light worsted weight too. Um, I think these would make wonderful hat and cowl sets, wonderful sweaters. Um, I really see this being a good versatile wearable yarn. Uh, not, probably not for your feet, but everywhere else I could see it for sure. So that is my Hobie yarn haul that I just did. I am kind of liking these two together as a good option. The evergreen with the colorina. I know this is wool and this is an acrylic wool blend, but the two colors I think would go very well together for something fun and blended. I also really like the white um, alpaca with the colorful colorina. I think these would go together lovely. Sometimes it's fun to mix yarn weights like this to get different textures in your project. This would be something fun for a striped textured shawl. Uh, and then this one, I still don't know. I'm more inclined to pair it with the black because I like this black yarn with this better than the halo that's on the alpaca. I originally wanted white with this colorway. So that was everything in today's haul. Let me know in the comments below, have you worked with any of these yarns? What were your thoughts and what did you make? Do you have suggestions for what I should make with these? Also, I'm interested in that, so let me know down below. And until next time, guys, happy crafting. Bye.